What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome back to another short video where I'm looking at some basic to intermediate level tips and tricks for the EOS R5 camera. So one of the problems that I think is just born out of the sheer complexity and capabilities available in a modern camera is dealing with all the settings. There's miles and pages and pages and pages. There's countless number of settings on the camera. And if you're trying to do something in a time sensitive manner and you need to make changes to various camera settings that aren't the sort of first line kind of things like metering or drive mode, getting to and changing those settings can be, you know, somewhat challenging. Canon's solution to this problem is what they call the My Menu, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the My Menu essentially offers you the ability to create your own custom section in the menu, set up however you want, using virtually all of the menu options that are otherwise available in the camera. And you can tailor this to however you want, however you think, however your, your thought process works. So you might create menu, uh, my menu pages for um, the kinds of photography you shoot and put on them the settings that you find most useful or necessary for those kinds of things. So you might have a landscape page, you might have a portrait page, you might have an architecture page, and you might have things on there like changing the viewfinder grid or changing dual pixel raw on and off or things like that. You could also potentially organize your my menu based on the the sort of commonality of functions or the, the 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 need that you have to access functions so how frequently you access a function that's the word i'm looking for so you could have like the first my menu page is all the things that you use really frequently and the second one is maybe the next tier down slightly less frequently and the third one and and so on now, on the EOS R5 specifically, the My Menu offers you up to five custom pages that you can set up and configure, and those five pages can have up to six entries on them uh, for menu entries, basically menu items that you can have there. And on top of all that, you can repeat the same entry on multiple pages, which is how the landscape thing, or, or how a, a subject-specific page is, is workable. So you could have for example, a landscape page with dual pixel or dual um, dual pixel raw enable disable. You could have a architecture page that has the same kind of settings, but or the same option, but other options for the other available things. So by default, when you get your camera, the only thing that's going to be in the my menu, which is the green menu section, all the way at the right. Uh, on the menu bar in the, well, you enter the menus, it's all the way at the right, it's green and it has a star. And the only page that will be there is the My Menu Setup page. And the My Menu Setup page is where you have the option to add a new tab to the My Menu section, delete all the tabs in the menu section, delete all the items in the menu, My Menu section, or change how the camera displays the menus when you start the camera. So I'm going to start with the, the menu display option on the menu setup page. So with the menu display option, you have uh, three settings. Normal display, display from the My Menu tab, and display only the My Menu tab. So normal display is what you're used to, what you should be used to hitting the menu button on the camera. It'll open you up to the last menu page or the that you were using. Um, or the shoot one menu if you, you haven't changed it or it's, you know, not had, doesn't have or doesn't remember for whatever reason you're, the last page you were on. This is how the camera works all the time. Display from my menu will start the display on whatever the last my menu page you were using was, and it will automatically jump to that page every time you start, you, you hit the menu button. So all of the other menus, the shoot menu, the AF menu, the playback menu, etc., all of those other functions will be uh, something you will have to navigate to instead of something that will come up potentially wherever it was the last time you were. And the final option is display only the My Menu tab, in which case, uh, for most photographers out there, if you're not 
running a shoot a, a studio this is not something you're going to want to use but basically display only the my menu tab turns off all the other tabs so the shoot the af all of those they go away and the only thing you have to work from menu wise is the my menu tab now as i said this is something that could be potentially useful if you're setting cameras up for you know a studio environment where you know you have multiple photographers doing say like um i don't know high school portraits or something like that and you want to make sure that all of the people that are shooting don't go in and mess with settings easily or can't go in and mess with settings easily or that only get access to the settings you want them to sort of by default then that was where the only my menu tab uh, option would be for but for the normal shooter um, my recommendation is to leave this set to or to set this to display from the my menu tab as the idea of the my menu system is to make this the setting in the camera or the place in the camera where you have all of the uh, most frequently used settings that you're going to need and so you want it to just jump to those most frequently used settings instead of somewhere else generally in the camera uh, so like like I said, I use this this way. If I go change something in one of the other menus, I don't necessarily want to hit menu again, and come back to that menu. I would rather hit menu and have it come back to the my menu. And that's what the display from my menu tab does. So adding a, a tab to the my menu so you can start configuring things is pretty simple. On the my menu setup page, go to add, uh, add my menu tab. Uh, hit set and then hit OK and it will add a new tab to your My Menu. Now once you've got a new tab set up, what you're going to want to do is configure that tab to have the things that you want available to you. And to do that on the tab that you just created or whichever tab you want to manipulate or edit, go to that tab and then tap the configure or select the configure men menu item and it gives you the tab configuration menu or the page configuration menu. So if you have nothing on the page, you're gonna to wanna to start with selecting items to register, the first entry there, and you will then be able to scroll through all of the menu options that are available in the, uh, on the camera, pick the ones you want, um, hit set to add them, add them to your menu page. They're added from top to bottom in the order you select them. However, if you select things in an order that you don't care or that's not right, uh, you can re or reorder those after the fact. So to, speaking of which, to reorder the entries in your My Menu, what you want to do is go to the second option in the Configuration Menu section, and that's Sort the Registered Items. And here you can pick an item, move it up and down, sort it, and have the things in the order that you want them in that's most useful for you. The next three options in this page are the delete options, so you can delete all, uh, delete the selected items, so you can pick specific items if you no longer want that on the page or you added it accidentally, you can pick that item and delete it. The delete all items on the tab essentially clears the tab so that you can restart from scratch and add all the things you want from you know new. And then delete tab gets rid of the tab completely, and you know if it's the last tab, the only thing in the my menu section will be the setup page where you will be able to add a new tab. The final option is rename tab. You can give your tabs useful names, which can be handy if you have to hand the camera to somebody and they ask where something is, you can say it's on the movie one tab or the photo two tab in the my menu and they can look at it, shows the heading, they can look at it. It also can be useful for you to, to you know organize and remember what your things are and have custom labels. So I hope that this video is useful. If you haven't used my menu to make getting through the menus easier, then give it a shot. If you did find this video useful, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.